Welcome everybody. In this video, you will be learning about collections in C Sharp. I hope uh, this can be very helpful. If you guys have any question, uh, please don't hesitate to ask and I will answer each and every one of those questions ASAP. And uh, without any further ado, here we are going to talk about the syntax of collections in a really fast and short manner. And afterwards, if you want to understand the what's and how's of collections in C Sharp, by all means, stay longer in the video and you will learn and understand what exactly is a collection and how does it work and when to use a collection. So let's start right now, guys. Here we go. Okay, guys, so here we are in a console application. It's a totally basic console application. And uh, it says, hello world, right? But we're not here for that. We're here for the, the good stuff, the complicated, interesting stuff. So first of all, let's show a basic collection right here right now let's uh so we're gonna create a class and we're gonna call it uh guess what basic collection class basic collection collection and um this is going to be a basic list this is a basic list in c sharp baby and here we got our class so let's start dropping stuff in it first of all i'm gonna make a method a public void just to contain the stuff we're gonna use this is not uh this is just syntactically necessary in c sharp uh basic list basic list let's call it run basic list run run basic run okay so here we go and we're gonna add the uh, for each no here we go we're gonna add the list this is how we instantiate a freaking list. Let me get this thing out of my head. Okay. Uh, list bananas. Um, I'm just going to copy paste this bad boy. You guys can do the same. If you guys need the archive, I mean the folder, the files, the source code, by all means, ask for it and you shall receive it. And um, here it is, list, int, numbers equals new list, int. That's how we do it, y'all. And uh, fill in the list by using the add method. How do we add stuff into the list? It's like, holy crap, like, how the heck do we add stuff into the list? Oh, and uh, now that you guys see how we make the videos here, uh, there's no editing. We, we don't have time for that. So this is like raw, pure, real programming life. You're not going to get like perfection and BS. This is all reality. Okay. So I'm going to post this because the sun is burning half of my face and you don't want to see me when I'm burned. Okay. Run basic list. Run. So this is how we create a basic list. And this is how we add methods into the basic list. This is the add a number. Okay, so, so this thing. Okay, dudes. This code, we're gonna see it running and we're not gonna edit shit. And um, this comes from 
this code is official, you know? It comes from the source. They usually don't give out easy examples. Uh, so you gotta break your head a little bit. Um, if you guys see this right now, you're probably gonna go like, what the hell is happening? So they don't start simple. They go like, boom, in your face, this is how we do it. And they're like, oh, what the heck is this? You, you, they don't give you like everyday life examples. So let's try and understand this. So if you feel frustrated when you're learning a programming language because they're giving you insanely complicated examples, don't feel that way. There are very better explanations online and you don't need to feel worthless or something. So here we go. Um, for each int number in new int array, numbers dot add number. So this for each loop, is just adding a number to the list. So this is how we declare the list. Declare the list. Basically declaring a list, you guys, if you're up to this level, you gotta know what declaring is. Jeez. Okay, declare the list. And uh, if you don't know, it's basically telling the computer, this is a list. It's like telling a baby, this is a table. I hope you guys laugh at that. And uh, for each int it's number, 30. blah, 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 in new int, so we're assigning a, a number. Remember guys, collections are arrays. So basically it's a better version of an array because you can add more stuff and it grows. It's like your belly. You can add more stuff to your belly and it will grow. Or you can remove stuff and you will get ripped and you will get sexier and you will be able to date hotter mamacitas or you will get too skinny and you will die. And that can happen with an unhandled exception if you empty this thing too much. Uh, but it's like a belly because it can always get fatter. And that's great if you're adding in your program, adding more and more stuff. You can always get fatter and fatter, you know? Who doesn't like getting fat? Everybody does, you know, everybody's fat. Nobody complains about it, right? Okay, so um, that's how we add stuff into a basic list. If you guys wanna see it running, let's freaking see that bad boy run. Okay, basic list, uh, list. Duh. And uh, my computer is probably heating up by now. So bear with me with this and don't look at my pants. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can cook something on my computer right now. This is crazy, guys. I'm, I don't know what I'm, I, I think I'm not going to be able to continue this video. This sucks. So, well, at least, at least you guys know how to make this right now. And uh, I'm really, really feeling sad because my computer is hotter than a stove and uh i'll just have to get another one so yeah uh i'll see how can i record without heating up my computer for now sadly this is the conclusion of this video i'm very sorry goodbye guys